Warren said, said on the podcast that he's joining the coaching staff in 2024 in Boulder, Colorado. He said he got a lot of love when he was down there. And the defense alignment, about six of them, wanted, wanted to know secrets. Wanted to know the keys of success on the defensive line. It was picking his brain. He said he's not used to that kind of love coming from defensive linemen. He said he's going to get the paperwork in order. He's going to do everything possible to be on the staff in 2024. Now, the way he sounded on the podcast is like he already got the job. Now, he's close with Deion Sanders. Everybody's close with Deion Sanders. But it might be a stumbling block because he had problems at NFL Network. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you guys can Google. Y'all can Google it. It's all public knowledge. And he was arrested after the Super Bowl for something minor, but it's just not a good look. Now, that was in 2015. He played it out, paid a couple dollars, paid a couple fines, paid restitution, and he had to complete some kind of counseling class that dealt with prostitution. Now he has some other cases. He also had, he filed for bankruptcy, but that's his own personal business. He's not going to be dealing with finances or telling people about how to spend their money in Colorado. Going to teach defense alarming how to get to an elite level. Now, a lot of them charges that I just mentioned in cases, he took care of all that. All that's gone. He fulfilled all his obligations with the courts. But we're talking about Boulder, Colorado. They might look at the baggage and say, nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. They're trying to build something special in Colorado. They don't need no negative headlines going forward. The head coach already got a bullseye on his on his back. Come on, you guys know that a lot of people want Deion Sanders to fail because of his bravado, his confidence, his over confidence in himself and his team and his beliefs so Colorado might stay away from Warren Sutt I'm just saying we'll see what happens in 2024 Warren Sapp is just as confident in his abilities as Deion Sanders and he carries his emotions on a sleeve now he'll do a good job as a coach but this is no slam dunk hire this is not a given now, Deion Sanders, he holds a lot of weight at that university. He's making him a whole lot of money. Deion might have enough power to get Warren Sapp on his staff. Might be able to throw his weight around. But we got to wait and see what happens next year.